Hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more Disguy 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, uh, we went to the moon and we found a bunch of bureaucratic alien androids who are trying to destroy the moon for some reason. In this episode, hopefully we're going to figure out what that reason is, and if not, at least we'll be able to blow some stuff up. Ugh. Excuse me. But first, I am going to uh, appoint an environmental minister, and the first step to that is getting a whole bunch of, uh, of bribes out for the Dark Assembly. That. Take some of these. Couple of belts. Couple of slippers. Couple of orbs. Couple of glasses. <coughs> couple of muscles. And a couple of emblems. Alright, we should be good to go. Val, you call the Senate. Point internal minister. Now, let's start with you. Glasses kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Monster weapons, and actually, yeah, yeah, I'll give them to you. Okay, you love me, uh... See if I can find some other slimes here. Whoop! Oh, I meant to. Yeah. There we go. Alright, printies, uh, we can't really help the printies, but, uh... Senator Statue. I guess that works. Is there another kitty around? There is not. Okay, equipment goes to zombies. Try the other zombie. Each of these uh, guys prefers a different uh, rarity range for your items. That's why some of them like some stuff and others don't like the same stuff, even though they're the same party. That's, uh, that's everything we're going to be able to do here. Your own party members don't take bribes, of course. But hey, internal minister get. Let's uh, let's head to the campaign HQ and uh, assign our last party way. member to that. Internal minister uh, raises SP. Who doesn't have a position?
That would be Fuka. Alright, Fuka, you are going to be our internal minister. Everybody has a position! Yay! Alright, let's carry on with the plot. Third Colony! That must be the igniter. It's an overly suspicious device right there. It looks like it's totally made from space technology. That must be it. But how are we? Just attack it. Destroy <coughs> Desco. Huh? Desco? Sure, but as a final boss, Desco should build up enough power over time to destroy it with one big bang type of thing. We don't have time for that, Desco. Suspicious creatures, halt your suspicious activities at once. No, you. I have no intention of being called suspicious by some parasites on the moon. Do it, Desco. Don't move. We have no choice but to take appropriate measures if you keep interfering with us. If you really wish to stop the device, you must submit a claim to the Office of Lunar Devices and go through the official channels. How about we destroy the official channels? Are they out of their minds? There's no time for official channels! The moon is gonna blow up! This is an emergency! That's why we're here! We don't have the time to converse with you aliens! Unable to process. The Earth has agreed to this as well. What is the emergency? The Earth agreed? No way! Nobody on Earth would ever agree to this! Well, that may be. However, we've already received approval from the ruler of Earth. Ooh. You mean, Judge Nemo? Then this was all planned by him after all! No, that is incorrect. No? Then who approved of this? The Supreme Comp. Human extinction is the consensus of the 20 billion planets registered under the Pan-Galactic Alliance. What did you say? The hell does that mean? What's a consensus? Basically, many aliens all over the universe have agreed to destroy the moon and drive human beings to extinction. Are you serious? Why would stupid aliens decide to do that? I won't allow it! When you exterminate pests in your house, do you ask the pests for their permission? As if humans were the pests of the universe. I couldn't agree more with that sentiment, but not with the destruction of the moon. The moon shouldn't be sacrificed to kill the human infection. That's right. The current state of the humans is that of harmful pests. That is why I'm going to turn the human world into Hades and re-educate them. Being treated as pests by demons and aliens. Humans don't need the power of aliens. What they need is Hades and reformation. That being said, I don't care whether it is the consensus of the Supreme Conference or not. I have no intention of obeying you. Uh, uh, unable to process. Are you going to oppose the entire universe? I sure will. And I'll keep opposing you until you bastards change your decision. It's hardly the entire universe, only a galaxy. In any case, no entry, no entry, no entry, and here's the ignition device. Ignition device one, it says. Okay. You're less weak to fire than you are to win, so we'll use wind. I gotta smash that block, of course. I can do 
anything in my dream. Zombianka. <laughs> That's a pretty silly name. Oops! I was totally not thinking there. Oh well. Uh, catastrophe! You're gonna need some healing. Sasha, you're on the job. Destroy the device! This thing doesn't even have that much HP. There we go. Boom! Excellent. The device has been destroyed. No. What's gonna happen to us? Please, we will not fall. If it goes out of control and creates a black hole, everything will be over! Don't worry about it! This is my dream, guys! Calm your ass down, Alex. Aren't you the girl who aims to take over the world? Well, that was back when I was five. <laughs> Sometimes I really admire how strong you guys are in times of crisis. Lady Archangel, please grant us protection. It stopped. The explosions are over. That was a pretty underwhelming explosion. Lord, looks like we've won our bet. Hmm. We've successfully stopped the destruction of the moon. Nope, not yet. Sorry, there's actually another ignition device somewhere else. You can't stop the destruction until you turn that one off, too. This man, how did he come to the moon even though he's human? How does he teleport even though he's We're human? He's in another world, too. I'm sure he has ways to get to the moon. Judge Nemo, I heard you approved this plan. Hey, you! How dare you approve this without my consent? Now, now, calm down. Humans are destined to go extinct. They're nothing but the pests of the universe. So naturally, aliens have decided to exterminate them. Then just destroy the Earth. Why sacrifice the moon along with them? Well, the only thing they want to get rid of are the humans. They're gonna reuse the Earth later, so they don't want to make a big mess. Recycling a planet? Whoa, aliens think on such a large scale. But destroying the moon will affect more than just the humans. Didn't they think about that? We're talking about a universal scale here. I'm sure they don't care if a small sacrifice has to be made. Some workers were even complaining about how much of a pain it would be to exterminate only the humans. No, that's horrible. That's when Judge Nemo came around. Destroying the moon would have been done a long time ago, but I held it off for a while. I convinced them at the Supreme Conference that my plan would work better, and it would cause less damage to the Earth. It wasn't all that hard to convince the universe to go with my plan, since it was going to end with the same results. But you guys ruined my Earth-friendly plan. And that's why the moon is getting blown up? Why are you trying to pin this all on us? But it's true, you know. 
If you guys didn't interfere with my plan, the Earth would have been left unharmed. I thought you were gonna destroy the Earth. This discussion is pointless. We have no intention of destroying the moon or the Earth. What aliens intend to do by playing God, we're not going to give in so easily. I won't allow some aliens to evaluate and judge the future of our worlds. Yeah, but... Salvatores, aren't you doing the exact same thing? Judging and evaluating? But the scale of the Supreme Conference is much, much bigger than yours. Watch your filthy mouth. No matter how big the scale is, it doesn't matter if it's wrong. My lord is offering to help those pests that were forsaken by some moronic aliens. That's the scale of a true ruler. A ruler who only knows how to discard. <laughs> You're placing your inadequacies on a pedestal and posing as a god. How irritating. My lord's absolute violence will surely break that rotten scale of yours and your incompetent simpletons. And let the universe know. The legitimacy of Tyrant Valvatores' scale! Well said, Fenric. You flatter me. <laughs> Demons preaching about righteousness, huh? This is just sad. It's as if I'm watching a bad comedy. I'm a little embarrassed by how obsessive Fen Fen is about Bowser. As usual. Still, I agree with them. Fuka Kazumatsuri totally supports Bowsy. Desko gives her support to Mr. Bowsy as well. Forget those unknown aliens. As a representative of the Netherworld, I support him as well. I'm sure Father feels the same way too. By celestial law, angels are forbidden to support demons. But I support Mr. Vampire as well, as an individual. Hmm. <laughs> well, then I have no choice but to respond to all of your support. I promise all of you here, I will stop the destruction points. of the moon and well, save they the Earth! It. They just fix the this tire. This shall be my declaration for to the entire universe! This is my no, manifesto! No, for five dollars. What was 120 for? The A checkup. We'll no. save the Earth. Sure, go ahead and try it. Hey guys, meet my dad. You really are. Bye. You <laughs> just like that one time. That one time? What was he talking about? I guess it had something to do with Val and Artina. Well, that was enough excitement for one video. Uh Next time, we are going to do a thing. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.